What's up everyone? Alright, so this video, there's a storm going on outside. So you're going to hear some thunder, some rain. Sorry, I'm not in some high budget studio, but let's just go ahead and do this. So this is a follow up video to a video that I made a few months ago. And in that video, I showed you how to add a contact form database to the back end of your Elementor website. And basically what a contact form database is, it's a database that stores all the information that goes through your contact forms or your newsletter signups or anything that you have using the Elementor forms widgets. And what that does is it prevents you from losing leads, losing sales, and uh, well, a lost lead could be lost business. But there's been an update with Elementor because now it's built in. See, back then, and I've always had to use a plugin. It was a really good plugin, super solid plugin. But now we don't need a plugin anymore. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of minimizing plugins as much as possible. So really quick in this video, I want to show you how to use this. It's called Elementor Submissions. It's built into one of the latest versions of Elementor and Elementor Pro. It's going to take less than a minute. I just want to bring attention and awareness to this new feature. And it's really easy. Anybody could use it. So let's go check it out really quick. All right, so in the back end of your website, you could go ahead and see right here, all I have is two plugins, Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now you will need the Pro version in order for this to work because this works only with Elementor Forms and that widget's only in the Pro version. And here I have a contact form right here. So we're gonna use this to test. Over here on Elementor, go over to Settings over to experiments and then scroll down and you'll see your form submissions. By default, it should be on, but just double check because you could turn it on and you could turn it off. So we'll leave it on. You see the little green, that means it's on. Now let's go back over here to your left menu right here where it says submissions and you'll see this is empty because it's a brand new site. So I'm gonna go over here to my contact form in the contact page. I'm gonna fill this out. And let's go ahead and just put testing right here and submit that. Now let's go back here and refresh it. And you will see now I have the submission right over here. You can go ahead and click on view and here you go. You got all your details, all the data and whatever fields that you put in your form is going to appear here. So if I put in more fields, more fields will show here. Also, once you start to collect large leads, you could export this all to CSV, which is awesome. So having a tool like this, I mean, you have to have this, you have to. If you're building sites for your clients, you need to add one of these because your clients could be losing business by not having one of these. And then for you too, for your own personal sites, make sure you have something like this built in. So if you aren't even using Elementor Forms, you're using something like Gravity Forms, Contact Form 7, you gotta make sure to add the database with it that collects all the data. But now with Elementor, it's built right in. They made it super easy. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I'll be back again with more Elementor tips, tricks, hacks, and you know, web designer related stuff. And please don't forget all that good YouTube stuff. You know, the likes, subscribes, it really does help. I appreciate you watching. I'll be back again soon. Thank you.